Hello Toppers, today we are going to discuss an interesting chapter from immunology that is major histocompatibility complex which is shortly called as MHC and this is also called as human leukocyte antigen which is shortly called as HLA you might have heard while studying regarding the autoimmune disease condition. So now Today in this video, we are going to discuss regarding the location of MHC, where it is located and what are all the functions of major histocompatibility complex and then regarding the types and some autoimmune diseases which were associated with the MHC. Okay. So this uh, autoimmune diseases related to MHC is more important in MCQ point of view. So let us discuss first regarding the location. So this MHC or HLA is nothing but a group of genes which were located in the short arm of chromosome 6. So we all know regarding the human cell and here inside the human cell we will be having our nucleus and inside the nucleus, nucleus we will be having our DNA. So in the DNA we have a group of gene located in the chromosome 6 which is, also, which is called as major histocompatibility complex or human leukocyte antigen. So first let us decode the name MHC so that we can identify the function of it directly. So here there is a word called histocompatibility. So here histo is nothing but tissues and compatibility is nothing but how well they are going along with each other. So here what is happening? Our MHC is helping our immune system to identify whether the tissues are belonging to our own self or from any foreign substances. It may be like any organism or any transplant or graft like that. So it will help our immune system to identify whether the tissues belongs to ourself or from the others. So here what happened if there is any problem in the MHC because of any gene mutation or any type of gene regulation what will happen? it will trigger our immune system and our immune system will start against working against our own self which may lead to autoimmunity. So that's why in many autoimmune diseases we will have our HLA expression or MHC expression. So let's see the exact function of it. So as we had already discussed our HLA will be located in the DNA of every human cell and here what will happen once the organism is entering our body any foreign substance is entering our body it may be a bacteria or virus or whatever it may be once it is entering the body it will affect the uh, cell then if it is a macrophage it will try to engulf the foreign substance like this and there occurs partial digestion. So once the organism is entering, then our HLA will get automatically stimulated. And what will happen? The MHC molecule or HLA molecule will be secreted outside the cell and here in outside the cell there will be formation of HLA protein or MHC molecule presenting outside the cell like this it will be presenting. So what will happen? It will pass the signal from here to the immune system. Immune system we know it is made up of B cell and T cell and here our MHC is mainly targeting the T cell. So what will happen? Because it will show, it will show that uh, the cell is affected by the microorganism which is engulfed inside the cell. So it will give the signal to the T cell and this T cell will go to the spot and destroy this complete this cell completely and get rid of the microorganism. So that is the basic mechanism what HLA or MHC is doing. So here simply what happens in case of autoimmune diseases uh, this uh, MHC will be getting activated to our own cell sometimes own cell 
then our body will be thinking this one cell has some foreign substances and the same mechanism happens and leading to autoimmune diseases so this is the basic thing so in case of types of mhc we have three types 1 2 and 3 3 is mostly of poor defined and it is not involved in the immunity so let's see what are all the specialities related to mhc 1 and 2 so in case of mhc 1 it mainly includes encodes the protein hlaa hla b and hla c and in case of mhc2 it will include hla dr hla dp and hla dq you might have heard hla dq3 dr4 like that in some autoimmune diseases so here MHC1 is closely related to A, B and C and 2 is related to DR, DP and DQ. So according to different types, we should know uh, which type is belonging to which type of human cell. So in case of MHC1, it is mainly seen in all the nucleated cells and platelets inside our body except RBC. It is not present in the RBC because there is no nucleus. So, except RBC. And this MHC2 is mainly seen in antigen presenting cells which were none other than the different types of macrophages. Like in case of uh, skin we are having dendritic cells. In case of uh, liver we are having kaffir cells. So, those type of macrophages are none other than antigen presenting cells where we can find this MHC2. So here both the MHC will be attracting T cells only but the subtype varies. So here in case of MHC1 it will attract CD8 cells which were of cytotoxic T cells. And here in case of MHC2 it will be attracting CD4 that is none other than helper T cells. So, this is the basic difference uh, regarding MHC1 and 2. MHC1, HLA, A, B, C. MHC2, DR, DP and DQ. And this is seen in all the nucleated cells and platelets except RBC. And this is seen only in the antigen presenting cells such as macrophages. So, tissue macrophages we all know in case of skin we have dendritic cells. In case of uh, liver we have kaffir cells. Similar pattern we, we can see the different types of tissue macrophages. And here this MHC1 will be expressed to the cytotoxic T cells and here it will express to the CD4 or helper T cells. So this is all regarding the types of MHC. So now MCQ discussion like uh, different types of MHCs related to different types of diseases. First is HLA B27. So these were seen in zero negative spondyloarthropathies. So, we all know what are all the seronegative spondyloarthropathies. One is ankylosing spondylitis, psoriatic arthritis, then comes Reiter's disease, then comes enteropathic arthritis. So now the question is why it is zero negative spondyloarthropathies because in these disease condition if we are going for serum RF factor that is rheumatoid factor it will be negative that's why it is zero negative spondyloarthropathies next then comes HLA B8 which is seen in myasthenia gravis. And the same B8 and DR3 is seen in Graves disease. So here you can try to remember this 8 and 8 is belonging to two types of Graves I can say. 
So B8 is for myasthenia gravis and B8 and DR3 for Graves disease. Then comes B51 and B5. This belongs to Bechet's disease. Then comes DR2. This is seen in multiple sclerosis. Then it is seen in good pasture syndrome. Then narcolepsy. So these are all the diseases where DR2 is expressed. Multiple sclerosis, good pasture syndrome and narcolepsy. So, DR3, this is seen in Jogren's syndrome. Then comes Dermatitis herpetiformis, which is a type of emphigus. And then, in case of SLE, systemic lupus erythematis, we will be getting HLA DR3 positive. In case of DQ, 8 and DR4. This is seen in type 1 diabetes mellitus. DR4 only in case of rheumatoid arthritis. Don't get confused with this. If it is DQ8 and DR4, then it is type 1 diabetes mellitus, and if it is DR4 only, then it is rheumatoid arthritis and here in case of rheumatoid arthritis we will be getting our rheumatoid factor positive and that two uh, that rheumatoid factor is a very sensitive thing we should go for uh, specific indications like anti ccp to confirm the diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis and then comes dr5 which is seen in Pernicious anemia where we will be having autoantibody against the parietal cells in the stomach. And then Hashimoto's thyroiditis which is an yet another autoimmune condition. Auto Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Then scleroderma. which is also called as Marfia. And at last comes DQ2, that is celiac sprue, which is also called as gluten-sensitive enteropathy. So, here in this video, uh, where we had discussed regarding the HLA subtypes and the art associated autoimmune diseases that were more important in MCQ point of view. In next video, we will discuss something different and uh, thank you so much and happy learning with us.